Hey everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today on the Pranayama series we are learning Lion's Breath. This is a pose that I used to kind of um, resist and now I embrace, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. It's uh, a wonderful breath or, and a pose, breath and a pose, two for one here today, um, that for me inspires, requires even a little bit of silliness and um, just reminds you to let go of what other people think and for that reason, I feel like it boosts confidence. Uh, the pranayama practice itself is great for relieving stress. It boosts vitality, kind of gets rid of negative emotions and stuff like that. It can also open up the throat chakra and relieve any stress or tension in the jaw or the neck if you suffer from TMJ. Um, anyway, loads of benefits of this uh, pose and this breath practice. So let's hop on the mat and learn lion's pose. Alrighty, so to learn lion's breath today, we're going to come into a seated posture on the knees. So we have a couple options here. Uh, you can kind of begin in Virasana, hero pose. If this is not available to you, then you're gonna practice lion's breath in an easy cross-legged position today. You can lift the hips on a blanket, sit up on a block. You can even practice this in a chair. Uh, the focus of today is uh, not on the pose, but rather on the pranayama, or the breath. So. Just get comfortable. Uh, I'm gonna come to all fours though, or rather come to my knees. And I'm going to bring my two big toes together and let, let the heels spread wide. Did a voiceover earlier this morning. It should be a nice and warm and articulate. Okay, so knees are spilling out. Two big toes are kissing together. And I'm letting the sit bones, kind of that pelvic floor, nestle in to the arches of my feet. Resisting the urge to say, hey -o. Okay, so pelvic floor nestling into the feet. I'll bring the hands to the tops of the thighs here, loop the shoulders forward, up, and back. Open the chest, very important here. So if you're in cross-legged, just sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders away from the ears. We'll take a deep breath in here, and on an exhale, spread the palms wide and press the palms down towards your knees. So what I'm doing here is connecting palm to shoulder and really spreading the shoulder blades left to right, becoming kind of active in the shoulder girdle and in the chest. Cool beans. Okay, so for the breath, I'm going to inhale in through the nose. And for starters, just exhale out through the mouth with a ha sound. Here we go. So let's try it just like that again. This time as you inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head, and as you exhale, really press through your fingers. You can imagine these like little lion's claws here as you press into the base of the palm. Okay, so spread the palms wide. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, ha. So as I'm pressing out through the palms and exhaling, I'm drawing the shoulder blades down and really opening up through the chest. A little extra here. So let's try that one more time. Inhale in, lengthen through the crown of the head, and exhale out. Okay, good. So now adding a little lion. I'm going to inhale in, same thing, this time on that exhale, which is a strong ha sound, as if you were fogging up a window and creating a little fog there. This time I'm going to lengthen the tip of the tongue down towards the earth, keep lengthening through the crown of the head, and as I send my tongue out and down, I'm going to send my gaze up towards my third eye, if you will. So there's many ways to practice this pose. This is how we're gonna learn it today, and we can kind of shift uh, into different variations um, as we grow the breath practice. So I inhale in. And exhale, practice, tongue out, gaze up. Okay, so we're gonna keep going with this. Couple of notes, careful not to create any unnecessary tension in the neck and the shoulders. That's why we practice by drawing the shoulders down away from the ears and broadening through the upper back body and the chest. Tongue, again, points down as you exhale, 
gaze goes all the way up towards the third eye. So this drishti or this focus um, can also just be sent up towards the sky. Um, but in traditional practice, and we can talk more about this drishti, this, um, this and its relation to the bandhas or the locks on another day. But for now, this quick uh, foundations in pranayama. Um, play with sending the gaze up towards the third eye here or just up towards the ceiling. All right, so we're going to practice five lion's breaths in a row and just see what happens here. Ready? Here we go. We inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. Close the eyes, soften through the eyelids, inhale. Exhale, spread the palms, lion's breath, tongue out. Inhale, close the eyes. And exhale, lion's breath, looking up. And two more, here we go. Last one. Now rest the palms on the tops of the thighs, close your eyes and just notice how you feel. Relax your jaw. Then we'll bat the eyelashes open. Hey yo, high on the breath. Okay, so now adding another variation of the pose uh, so that we can learn the breath in that. We widen the knees, just another option here, a little more lion's love for you. So you can stay in cross-legged position if you're already there. Otherwise, we'll learn a second variation here of bringing the knees wide and pressing the palms into the earth. Now just take a second here to press away from the mat. Find that broadening through the chest. And then keep the chest open as you turn the fingertips inside, inward, in towards your body. Press into all 10 knuckles again, broadening through the upper back body, just like we did before. So there's a tendency to collapse here, like we're chilling like villains. So keep that integrity in the spine. Great. Here we go. We're going to practice five lion's breaths here. This time, pressing into the palms, knees nice and wide, opening through the throat. Okay, here we go. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And exhale, begin. Lion's breath, tongue out. Close the eyes, inhale. And for these last two, you might begin to find a little rotation in the pelvis. So maybe I'll actually turn to the side here just so you can see that. I wasn't really planning to teach all of this, but you might as well get all the bang for your buck, so to speak. Okay, so we'll practice with just two more. Broadening through the chest and just noticing now incorporating a little bit of tilt in the pelvis, a little bit of spinal flex here as we open through the front body, open through the throat chakra, and find a gentle compression or massage in the back of the neck. Okay, here we go. Two lion's breaths in a row and then we're done. Inhale in, full body experience. Exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. Then we'll gently release. Palms walk forward. We walk the knees in towards center. We'll press up and out of the earth so we can curl the toes under, a little counter pose for the feet. And then we outstretch it in front, melting the heart to the earth. We breathe in the soles of the feet and relax. Take a second here if you need to, to rotate the wrists. And then we release. 
Okie doke, so that was lion's pose. You can incorporate this breath into your practice um, in any asana that feels good. I invite you to you know, find a little self-expression, explore doing lion's breath in downward dog, explore doing lion's breath perhaps in a cobra or upward facing dog or in sukhasana, meditation pose. Um, check it out. I mean, for me, again, this pose is about kind of letting go of what other people think. It's a great way to kind of build confidence in your practice, which hopefully will translate, you know, up off the mat as well. Um, I love you guys. Leave questions, comments below. I am incorporating a little bit of a hashtag because it's 2014, baby, uh, with this pose. If you want to get silly with me, forget about what people think and just have some fun, you can hashtag Lion's Breath, YWA for Yoga with Adrian and share with us your silly lion's breast face. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Visit us at yogawithadrian.com for more free goodies. Namaste.